tonight, uh, training before the Staley Bridge game in the Manchester Premier Cup. Um, obviously, last time we were both here, it was at the uh, Lancaster game on Saturday. What were your reflections having looked back at it? They probably should have won it in the last kick of the game. Dale Whitten goes through, 1v1. Uh, but then we should probably equally win it just before that, when Curtis has a free header. Uh, Tomonga had a chance as well. So, I think on reflection, it was a it was a really good performance. I've watched the game back. We were, we were exceptional with some of our movement, some of our interchange, some of our play, some of our passages was really good. You know, all the lads kept in a game plan, which was fantastic, but we just couldn't secure the three points. But when you look at Dale's chance at the end for Lancaster, you know, Dan does really well, Lavacum does really well, and, you know, we would have really been feeling sick if we would have thrown away all the points. So, you know, pleased to get our point, uh, and we've got to move on from it. Yeah, I mean, both goalkeepers had great games, to be fair. Dan, obviously, saving a penalty, which is, you know, basically it was a good, good stop, basically kept hold of it. Obviously, that ch that stop at the end. Um, Lancaster's goalkeeper, I think, basically, I look back to get a look, and he's basically on loan from Burnley. Yeah, he's a very good keeper. The save from Rodwell Grant's free kick is, is immense. I've watched it about 10 times. His overall positioning play was really good, and, you know, Finn said he was a, he was a good keeper. Uh, did really well, you know, so a tail of two keepers. It was nice to have, obviously, Dan back in next, and he saved an early penalty, which was a shocking decision, and I've already spoke about it, and the more times I see it, the, the worse it gets. Uh, you know, and it's just a it's kind of a plea, you know, to referees to, to consult uh, the lines, uh, the lines people, if they will do moving forward. It, it, it does, you know, it's, it's been a kick really for the last two games to have two really poor decisions go against us with two really good referees. You know, I'm not saying the refereeing has been poor, it's just the major decisions that you want to get them right and that's why they've got support on the sidelines. So if I can just encourage them to, to use that uh, and then if all three of them or two of them deem it the right decision, it's the right decision. But... You know, the referee will be very embarrassed when he looks back at the decision when Norris goes to the ground on Saturday. Speaking of keepers, obviously Will Samway left us this week. Um, can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, devastated to lose him. You know, real, real talent. Uh, I remember his first game at Warrington when he came in, he, he was exceptional. Um, and, you know, Dan saying on the, on the bench, what a keeper. You know, and the two of them, Dan and Will have been brilliant, you know, bounced off each other. You know, we couldn't get the paperwork done. And then obviously Dan Lava comes back fit. Uh, he has a really good game and, and it's a hard justification to everyone to keep two keepers happy. But, you know, if 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 uh, paperwork was completed beforehand, then, then I would have had two keepers and a real headache. But as it happens, you know, Will goes back with our best wishes. Uh, he's been exceptional and I have no doubt, you know, if he doesn't make it at Chester, he's going to make it elsewhere. And, you know, who knows, come the end of the season, you know, we may be looking uh, to rival Dan and bring another one in. So the door's definitely not shut with Will. So I want to thank him for all that he's done for the club. Um, in and around the club, you know, he's, 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 really, he's really taken to it, uh, so, so, so that, that was good, it was good. Yeah, I mean, one of the things you could say about Will, apart from his ability, was his attitude is absolutely spot on, and sometimes, you know, speaking frankly, sometimes we get lone players who come in and they don't really embrace the opportunity, that were, you know, obviously they might not see it as an opportunity, it's an opportunity for them to shine and show what they can do. Will like Jack, like Finn and mm. quite a few of the players we've got at the moment on loan just absolutely gave it 100% didn't he? Really bought into the football club and that's what you want them to do you know the feedback that we give to their host clubs is, is impeccable you know their attitudes are great I thought we will uh, there may have been talk of him you know extending uh, maybe not just at Chester see whether or not we could have done something moving forward because Chester have got a really good keeper but it just wasn't to be uh, but I'm sure with an attitude and ability like Will's got he's going to have a big big future in the game and I'm, no, I'm not surprised that league clubs are being talked about with Will Samway and you know for me it's just a thank you to Will and, and I've already said that to him and his family you know for buying into it and, and obviously Chester for allowing him allowing us to take uh, take a lot on loan and you know, you never the door's not closed. And you never know what happens in the future. Yeah, and and for any other players who basically come on loan, basically, they, you know, basically, it's a great opportunity for them, isn't it? The, the club is as professional as, as the club that they're going to come from, if not more professional. You know, the work that we do on the training pitch, the work that we do on match days, the the unique fan experience that we can give them here. You know, the work that's going on behind the scenes now with our you know events team, commercial team, you know, etc. It's just it's a really good place to be. Uh, and our assurances is that once they step through the door then we can look after them and make sure that they feel welcome and hopefully they can they can replicate that and give good performances on the pitch and you've seen with the lone players this year you know in particular uh, Finn, Jack and, and Will that their uh, performances have been outstanding and I'm sure you know that will follow like to Joe now and to Monger etc. Yeah obviously and the good news the other day we extended Finn Armstrong's loan until the end of uh, December too. That's an amazing move you know Finn has done so well uh, 
tough summer, I've already said about it, when you lose Doddy, uh, and, and you, you kind of, can you replace that left back, and no disrespect to, to Guy, uh, or anyone that came in before him, but when you've, when you've been around the ball, like Doddy has, he's really big shoes to fill, uh, and when we got the opportunity to sign Finn, you know, we knew we were well thought of, we watched him out for our own eyes, uh, at Leyland, in the LFA game against Reading, and, and he was brilliant, you know, really good, and, and Burnley gives the opportunity to look after him, and you know, he's gone back to Burnley, he was absolutely buzzing, uh, really, really appreciative of what we're, what we're doing for him, the way we're coaching him, the way the lads are with him and, and it was his push and his agent to stay until, until January. So, who knows, you know, when we get to January, if he doesn't go higher or get in, you know, Burnley's, Burnley's team, then, then we'll be delighted to have him back, but certainly looking forward to working with him for the next two months now. OK, and obviously he's, uh, we're two days ahead of uh, the Manchester Premier Cup against Taylor Bridge. Uh, it's a big game for the club, isn't it? Because it's a trophy we want to win. Every trophy we want to win, you know, and, and the Manchester Cup is, is that one. You know, people say it's the bragging rights in Manchester. Uh, everyone wants to beat everybody and, and it's who turns up on the day. I have no doubt, Stale Vision will be the same as us, carrying knocks and injuries and they'll want to get some minutes into players that haven't had as many minutes recently. But by no means we'll be feeling a weak inside. You know, we want to get a win, you know, Bit weird because we're going to face them again in the league the week after. Uh, so you don't want to give away all your all your uh, aces, if you will. So you know there will be a few changes. Uh, I'm sure Chris will make a few changes as well. But I encourage everyone to come and get the Saturday football fix. You know it's not on a Tuesday night, Saturday afternoon, and you know it's a it's a welcome rest from the league. I think there's only one league game taking place at the weekend. So you know if that's a draw, we, we can stay top. So it's, it's it's kind of that buzz as well, uh, taking us into the, the following week. But it's like you said, it's a competition we want to do really well in. It's been spoiled the last couple of years due, due to COVID, etc. And you know we weren't in it last year, but we we want to we want to go and win the trophy, and we you know we know we're going to have to overcome a really good resurgent Stanley Bridge side. But I uh, I just encourage everyone to come down and, and make the noise like you do, and I'm sure it'll be a good spectacle. Yeah, I mean anybody who was at the Manchester Cup final in 2018 when we won it last, uh, I think it was at Oldham's ground. Um, it was a great event. We hosted the final here uh, last season. Um, I think it was Hyde versus Ashton, if I remember correctly. Uh, and that was a fantastic game. And basically, when, it, when the show for you, it, was, it meant something to people. I was working behind the bar, I was working as a steward, you know, last year's cup final. It was brilliant. You know, there was a real good atmosphere around. And, you know, from, from the first minute, you could see what it meant to the fans. And they came in the numbers and, you know, give a really good spectacle of two really good footballing sides. And, and it was good, you know, and we got the opportunity to host it. This year, we want the opportunity to play in the final. But we know we've got a lot of hard work to do. So, uh, but no, it's a, it's a competition that I put, you know, high up on the priority uh, agenda. Obviously, with everything, but you know, when it's so close to home, you do want to you do want to win that that trophy. Yeah, I mean, you mentioned sort of basically working behind the scenes. Obviously, sort of like been working really hard over the last few weeks on match day experience, haven't we, for everybody? It's incredible the work that's going on downstairs in the office. You know, we we've come a long way, a long, long way, and you know, I stand here tonight on. The 27th of October, it's my four year anniversary today. Uh, you know, when we played against Brackley then four years ago and Mike Faulkner's birthday as well. And if I look back at it, you know, where we've come as a football club in four years, it's, 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 it's light years. And what they're doing now, you know, on match day, you know, when, when Rachel's getting things with Pete Cleaves, it's, it's amazing. You know, the work that Francis is doing commercially, you know, there's a real buzz in that office as a hub of activity. You only have to look around the ground, seeing boards going up, you know, the, the display behind us now, the cleanliness of the building, you know, the way the academy lads are. It's good. It's a really good place to be and you can, you can feel that buzz around it. People say winning football games does help, uh, but we won football games, you know, over the last four years and it's the first time I've felt that real, that real excitement that this club is, is on the cusp of something really big. Yeah, I mean, sort of talking about it, in simple numbers, basically, the last thing I heard was that we'd made more money in sponsorship in the first two months of this season than we did in the entirety of last season. It doesn't surprise me. She knows, Francis knows everyone and anyone. You know, I went to the local shop last night, I bumped into Hartlepool CEO, who knows her. You go around, I go to Blackburn Rovers, you know they, who know her. Rochdale, that know her. Everyone that I kind of bump into, they go, got Francis Fielding, what a great signing that'll be, what a coup that'll be. And that's not to put pressure on Francis. She just is a real breath of fresh air and... Not only breath fresh air, she's so meticulous, she's so driven, uh, she's so knowledgeable. Uh, and I know that, you know, I don't want people to get too excited, but she does have the right keys to unlock the right doors. And, you know, I'm hoping that, you know, her work will go from strength to strength and, and she'll get that support that she needs. Fantastic. So, uh, looking forward to Saturday. Uh, big game. Massive game. Uh, just going to count the bodies tonight. I think we've got seven out. Uh, that's not me resting seven. We've, we've got seven injuries. Uh, you know, it's a bit of a kick, you know, Griff came on, but it looks like a recurrence. Donners and Vinny, 
Joe Rodwell Grant uh, with his groin, Jack De Grucci, uh, who's going to be a, a couple more weeks. Andy Halls uh, needs a rest this weekend. Uh, I've missed one off, but yeah, we, we, we're down to the bones. Uh, we may be looking at Academy lads as well to come in and support. We may have a trialist as well who's coming in, but it's part of parcel of football, you know. And like I said, you know, it happens to everyone, and hopefully we can get these lads rested and, and looked after and, and live. Uh, our senior physio can, can work a magic to get them back for the league game next week, but we certainly will be going to the game uh, with the squad depleted, but still, you know, on paper, still a really strong, strong team that, that hopefully can cross the line on Saturday afternoon at three o'clock and get the right result. Yeah.